Hi, welcome to Jewel Vision video tutorial for my Juvi Cloud. My name is Derek and I'm currently working in technical support department. I will be leading you through this whole training course and by the end of this course, you will have mastered all of the basics of the my Juvi Cloud and will learn how to set up your own my Juvi Cloud account to edit cameras. This is uh, the outline of this video tutorials. It covers goal, introductions, features, case study, and live demonstrations. And at the end of this course, we're going to have the FAQ sections. So what is the goal of this video tutorials is to mainly help you understand the different types of my Juvi Cloud camera spec and also help you understand what exactly my Juvi Cloud software is. So what is Juvi Cloud Cameras? Juvi Cloud Cameras is basically a series of a lightweight, easy to install network cameras, especially designed for small business. You can use my Juvi Cloud Cameras for situation like kindergarten, laundry, chain store, and so on. And when motion is detected, the camera saves the surveillance videos in the micro SD card, and also it can be stored in Geo Vision's cloud storage. This slide is to show you guys how we get the cameras connected. As long as there is a network environment established, you can get the cameras connected to my Juvi Cloud portal by TCP IP protocols. It's pretty straightforward and simple. So how to distinguish the model name of the Juvi Cloud camera series? If the first letter is C, means this is a cloud-based camera. If the second letter is W, means this is a camera supports Wi-Fi connections. Um, for the first digits, so far we have uh, both the 1.3 megapixel and 2 megapixel. And for the second digits, if it is 3, means this is regular camera. 4 means this is a camera supports a WDI Pro. 5 means this camera supports a super low locks. Let's take a look at the camera spec here. So far, we have a both a 1.3 megapixel and 2 megapixel camera. For 1.3 megapixel, the default FPS is set to 15, but it is still able to change to 30 if necessary. On the other hand, 2 megapixel Juvi Cloud cameras, max FPS is up to 15 only. As you guys can see here, so far we have a four types of cameras for GV Cloud Cam Series. We have a box type cameras, we have a fixed zone camera, and bullet type cameras, which is for outdoor use. It supports uh, both the IP67 and IK10. And for this camera, this is an indoor use camera that supports Wi-Fi connection. This is another slide about the camera hardware spec. As you guys can see here, all of the cameras support two-way audio except the outdoor use of bullet camera. And no input-output, no support external hard drive as well. And when you purchase a camera, a free Transcend micro SD card will be given. Currently, we have a four types of platform to support GV Cloud cameras, which is our my GV Cloud Cam Wizards, my GV Cloud Portals, my GV Cloud Cam Viewer, and my GV Cloud Cam Apps. This is applications used for mobile devices, and we support uh, both the iOS and Android version. For my GV Cloud Cam Wizard, we support the mostly used operation system nowadays, which is our Windows and iOS. So it doesn't matter which one you're using, we support both of them. Basically, if you want to watch IP cameras remote live view, it is necessary to open the port in the router. But for Juvi Cloud cameras, it is not necessary to do so, which is a very good thing for those people who are not familiar with network setting. This is a feature that is only supported by the cloud camera model HCW. With this feature, it is very easy to get a camera connected to the network. What you have to do is just press the WPS button on both the camera and the router. And just make sure that the router has to support WPS feature as well. On this slide, the MyGV Cloud Cam Wizard will help you configure network setting of the cameras, create an account for the camera, and register a MyGV Cloud account. And after setup is complete, you can choose either to install MyGV Cloud Cam Viewer or MyGV Cloud Cam App. In the welcome screen, after you click next, the wizard will search for available GV Cloud cameras under the same name, and the search results page will be displayed like this and you will get the IP address, MAC address, and the status of the camera. And the status column will include the sum of the icons below. The first one is the wireless connection. The second one is that uh, the camera is connected with the network cable. And the third one means that the camera has not been assigned into uh, my GV Cloud account. 
And the last one is uh, the camera has been assigned into my Juvi Cloud account. This is how exactly my Juvi Cloud web interface looks like, and this is a login interface. So far, we support the mostly used web browser, such as um, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, and Safari. Once you log into your MyJuvi Cloud account, this is how exactly the web interface looks like. So you might ask, how many cameras can I add to my Juvi Cloud account? The answer is no limitations. You can add as many cameras as you want. When you watch cameras live view, you have a three options, which is our single live view, 2x2, and 3x3. This is a feature to let you share your GV Cloud camera with your friends. What you have to do is, you first of all, you go to Setup and click Setting under Share Camera, and you type your friends my GV Cloud account. And lastly, you click Invite. This is how you share your GV Cloud camera with your friends. The next feature is about the firmware auto detection. This is a very useful feature because you can check it out here anytime and see if there is any newer version released. Here is the interface where you do the configuration to the cameras. You can set the camera's resolution or the record streaming FPS or even preview streaming FPS. And you can set up the sharpness of the cameras. You can disable or enable the camera names and time. And for the event monitors, you can adjust the motion sensitivity or adjust the event interval. If you want your recording data to be back up to Juvi Cloud, what you have to do is you go to Cloud Service and enable Cloud Backup. Just remember that the recording data will be kept up to 30 days. The next feature is for you to broadcast your Juvi Cloud cameras. It supports a live view and the previous 4 hours playback. Just remember that YouTube's viewing resolution can be larger than the Juvi Cloud camera itself. Otherwise, a black screen will occur in YouTube. The next slide is to show you guys how to do the remote playback. First of all, you go to remote playback and enter the time period you're looking for. And for the position, you can either choose a local or a cloud. And lastly, you go click a query and all of the related video file will be displayed up here. The timeline is another playback feature for the recording data they are saved to Juvi Cloud. What you have to do is you go select the day for the playback and once you're done with it, all of the recording data for the day you choose will be displayed up here. As you guys can see, there is a lot of uh, video clips up here and you just go uh, click the, the clip you're looking for. The next one we're going to talk about is uh, my Juvi Cloud Cam Viewer. Let's take a look at uh, what kind of features does uh, my Juvi Cloud Cam Viewer support. It supports uh, live view, two-way audio snapshots, full screen for the, both the playback and live view. And all of the videos are recorded by motion. And just to remind you that my Juvi Cloud Cam Viewer only supports a Windows operation system. If you check both of these two options, event pop-up cameras and event pop-up message, once there is a motion detected, there's going to be a pop-up window display like this. The camera names triggered by motion, the date, and the time. Okay, the last one is an application used for mobile devices. Like we introduced at the very beginning in this video tutorial, it supports uh, both the iOS and Android. So what features does my Juvi Cloud Cam app support? It supports a live view, snapshots, two-way audio, and it is able to remotely start and stop monitoring. And last one, it also supports motion event notification with the playback. Once you select the desired cameras, here is the setting interface. You get a MAC address of the cameras, username and password for the cameras, and it is able to uh, either disable or enable the following options. Once there is a motion detected, a notification will be sent to your notification page. You just click the desired cameras and go to notifications and all of the notification about these cameras will be displayed up here. Here is a comparison chart between Juvi Cloud Cam and Juvi IP cameras. For Juvi Cloud cameras, it records by motion, only supports a one video codec, and for his uh, two megapixel camera, the maximum FPS is up to 15, and for the max video clip is up to 30 seconds, and it doesn't support MVR recording server integration and on Vive. 
The next slide is a comparison chart about the platforms that are supported by my Juvi Cloud. The first one is my Juvi Cloud Portal. This is a web-based platform with the full control. And the second one is my Juvi Cloud Cam Viewer. It only supports a Windows operation system with the limited control. And the third one, my Juvi Cloud Cam App, it supports both the iOS and Android with the limited control as well. The following is a real case came from one of the, our clients in Taiwan. The client is running the Pass Store and he would like to install four Juvi Cloud cameras without extra PC. So all of the recording data could be saved in Geo Vision Cloud Storage. Three HCWs are used in this case. They can be relocated anytime. And the last type is a box type camera with IR function. It is mainly used for monitoring the main entrance and post machine. The next slide is live demo sections. This video tutorial is basically split in two parts. One is for lectures, the other one is for live demo. For live demo, please refer to another video clip. Okay, FAQ sections. This is one of the uh, mostly asked questions from our clients. The question is, can I integrate GV Cloud Cam into uh, GV MVR? The answer is no, because GV Cloud Series is a completely different product line. It is unable to integrate the GV Cloud Series into uh, either Multicans or other GV remote applications. All right, we're done. We hope the materials covered in this course can help you understand what exactly my Juvi Cloud software is. And if you're looking for more detailed information, you can go to Geovision official website, which is www.geovision.com.tw, or you can email to our support team or just give us a call. All right, I think uh, that's pretty much for this uh, video tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name's Derek.